All right, so this is gonna be a messy, uh, crappy unboxing of the Omen 17 CK1021NR. Um, yeah, it's gonna be messy because uh, I just don't have the space nor the equipment to do a proper unboxing like what you would normally see on YouTube. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox this. Uh, let me actually move it in a better looking position. Okay, so I turned it around. It does have, uh, let's see, you can see the top part. Poor lighting, but yeah. So there's like a sticker here. You see my finger? A sticker there and another sticker here to hold the top. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And it comes out like this. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, it doesn't feel like foam. It feels like plastic. Uh, I guess it's sec to secure the laptop some more. I got this uh, Omen 17 in in Micro Center. Um, it costs a thousand eight hundred ninety nine. But because uh, of um, I think they have a, some sort of sale, it's uh, five hundred fifty dollars less. Um, and I also go. So that that actually allowed me to buy the two-year accidental warranty just in case I screw up this uh, laptop as well. My old laptop died because, I don't know, it overheated or something. So that's what, the reason I bought the two-year accidental warranty. Anyway, let's take a look at what this is. Some sort of literature. It looks like a throw-up bag. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like it's an envelope actually. I don't know what it is. It is. Um... Important product information. I don't know what this is. Anyway, more literature. What is this? Uh, limited warranty. I'm not sure if I need that because I think the Micro Center warranty covers everything. Um, anyway, uh, here's the laptop, but we'll skip the laptop for now. Actually, let me set that aside so I don't actually drop it. Let me put this over here. Okay, let's look at the box. Uh, pretty solid cardboard, whatever this is. Um, yeah, it's like really sturdy cardboard. It feels different than cardboard. It's, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, there's the big power brick. 330 watt power brick. Um, and looks like some... Oh, that's a power cable, and this is really heavy, actually. Ooh, wow. Really heavy power brick. Yeah. If you remember the old Xbox, uh, the original Xbox, it had a it had a big-ass power brick. Um, it's about as heavy as that one. Holy crap. And that, that power brick's heavy. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, look at the laptop. So let me pause it real quick. All right, so here's the laptop. It's in some sort of sleeve. Um, feels like felty, or a, might be a felt sleeve, I don't know. Or microfiber sleeve, feels good. So it does say Omen, surprising. So let's go ahead and flip it. Okay, so this is uh, the flip view. It has an HP a uh, sticker to hold it together yeah it feels like oh it's gonna rip wow this is a strong adhesive huh okay i'm gonna need two hands to uh remove this for some odd reason i don't want to damage this um this cloth um I, I can use it for cleaning the computer so let me go ahead and uh, set that up oh wow it looks really nice it looks really really nice so this um, laptop comes with an Intel i7 um, 12700H. That's the 12th gen Alder Lake or something like that. I forgot if it's Alder Lake or whatnot. Um, it does have an RTX 3070 Ti. Uh, I think the TDP is uh, 150 or 170, but it's pretty good. Uh, 8 gigabytes uh, of the 3070 uh, Ti. It does have a uh, 32 gigs of uh, DDR5 RAM. 
I'm not sure what the 4,800 means. Um, it does have two terabytes, so that's a good thing. That's another reason I, I got this. And uh, according to the paperwork or uh, the description, it has a uh, two terabyte one stick. So it's not divided into two sticks. So I can actually put another two terabytes in there and I'll be happier. Um, it does have a 17.3 inch screen. Let's actually look that up. Wow, it's, it's hard to open. Oh, I thought I can do one finger opening for this, but it's not opening. It has a anti-glare screen. Let's see if it opens. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's ooh. This is this feels like foam. It's not like I thought it was gonna be felty or what whatever like a microfiber fiber felt. It's not. It's it feels like foam. So that's really odd. But yeah. It's uh. So here's the seventeen inch uh. 17.3 inch uh, display it's um, QAHD IPS anti-glare uh, 165 display so 165 Hertz display so that should be okay uh, my old laptop was 240 Hertz so I don't know how different that's gonna be like but here's the keyboard I like this look right here this sticker is lopsided so we better like get rid or return it because the sticker is lopsided look how lopsided that is it's not flush or parallel to the other stickers actually this this stickers are not even like whoever put this stickers terrible look at that they're not they're not uh parallel to each other uh that sucks that's gonna annoy annoy me i might uh, remove those stickers so i don't know what this is bang Oluf, Olufsen, I'm not sure what that is, but for some odd reason it's there. Maybe it's the speakers or who designed it. Yeah. Um, are this air vents? Could be air vents. Or they could be speakers and air vents. Nah, I don't like the function keys here because I feel like the... Um, the keyboard layout moved to the right just so that they could have this. They could have put this, um, this macro keys or whatever you call it, uh, on top of here. Or just made them as function keys. Oh, oh crap. I, I just noticed it. It doesn't have a keypad. Like uh, the number keypad. So that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm used to the Legion... Um, the Legion 7's keypads on the right right hand side. But overall, looks like I'll be able to work with it. Mm, kind of want to see the inside, but I don't think we have time for that. Because I want to mess with it and figure out this computer, run some tests, play some games, and whatever else I need to. Uh, let's see. Let's actually check out how many ports it has. Let's see the back actually. Um, I want back ports. I don't see any back ports. This is a huge... Oh wow, this is a big ass vent. So hopefully that will keep the laptop cool. Because I've had issues with heat on my Legion 7i. Um, it had an i9 and a 2080. And the heat just basically killed that laptop. Uh, let's see. If it's, if it's gonna... Let's see, let me focus there we go so it has what is this looks like a USB a port a display port a HDMI port Thunderbolt port a USB C a SD card I stopped using SD card um, <coughs> SD card readers though so that's gonna be um, something new again. Uh, let me move this on the other side. I'm using my gun mat as a... To protect the laptop. Mm. And this is... Oh, there's not much. Um, those are actual air vents. Um, and two USB-A ports. Uh, I'm guessing they're 3.1 uh, or something. I don't know, but 
more than likely it's going to be USB 3s. So that's fine. Uh, so it's a lot, it has a lot less ports compared to my Legion. Um, maybe a one port less, but that's okay. I'll just get a, a USB hub and that should take care of that. <clears throat> okay, now we're taking a look at the back. Uh, we have, what is that? We have a Windows sticker. Oh yeah, I forgot that this is a Windows 11 computer. So hopefully that's not going to be an issue for me. I don't think it is. Uh, Windows 11 and Windows 10 are pretty much the same. I've been playing with it at work. Um, let's see, what else is stick, the stick out over here? I thought this was all going to be open, but it looks like there's actual uh, some sort of metal housing inside the grills. You see that? It's uh, blocking the actual fan. There's like a fan hole right here, but that's it. Um... Those are the copper heat sinks, but you only see a part of it. Hmm, I'm surprised. That's okay. So I'll, I'll run some tests, make sure to heat up this laptop really well. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll do more videos about this laptop, especially the back. I'm really curious about opening it right now. I kind of want to open it and put a another two terabyte stick inside it but uh, I guess I'll wait on it just in case I have to bring it back to micro center and return it in case I got a lemon cuz yeah you never know cuz the the box itself um, looks like it got dinged up on one of the corners I don't know if uh, the guy holding it like accidentally dropped it so hopefully that's not the case hopefully everything's wor works out Anyway, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.